really think that canoe paddling is kind of what got me grounded on Kauai. The bonds that you build inside of a canoe, the teamwork that it takes to get a canoe to move, you really can't describe it. I'm the Applied Genetics Manager at BASF. My responsibilities are basically for all the field trials. So the corn, sunflowers, soybeans, all the crops once they are in the field are, are my responsibility. Being that Kauai is such a small community, it, it's real easy for half-truths to, to get spread because it, it's such a small population. There's a lot of rumors out there because the place is isolated, that's, that's why we're here. But the biggest thing that for the layperson to understand is that Hawaii gives us the ability to grow crops year-round. And we can continually grow things here. It gets things to the consumer faster. It gets things to the farmer faster. It, it's about being able to get products that would typically take 12 to 15 years, we can now get those to the consumer in 8 to 10 years. So it really helps to speed up that process. If you can't keep up with the speed of the, the pest, the pest will eventually win. And what that will lead to is reduced yields that will re result in fewer people farming, which we definitely don't want that. We want to encourage farming. And so the harder it is to farm, the harder it is to get people fed, and we want to be responsive to that. What we've been able to do is we've increased yields for the farmers, we've decreased the amount of pesticides that they are applying, so that means they're putting less money in to the crop. From an environmental standpoint, they're not using as much fossil fuels as they used to use because they're not having to bring equipment into the field as frequently as they had to. Stewardship, protecting the land, it's right up there with, with keeping people safe. And when we farm here, we take that into every equation. Sustainability and BASF, it, it's at the forefront of, of what we do. It all starts when we look at our crop plan, we think about where are we going to place our fields. We only prepare the land that we need for our crops. We don't over-prepare ground. When we don't use land, we have cover crops that will put nitrogen back into the soil. So you're getting benefits on that subsequent crop. We maintain grass strips around all of our fields to keep the dust down. We think about things even when it comes time to ship our crop. We consolidate shipments as much as, as, much as we possibly can. We think about it from a farming aspect, from a shipping aspect. It, it's always on our mind at BASF. We take all of that personally because the bulk of the people that work at BASF live in Waimea and Keikaha, and their kids go to school in Waimea and Keikaha. If you hold Kauai dear to your heart, you're not going to want to do anything that's going to endanger the environment that we have. I paddle canoe, I surf, my family is here. When I leave these cornfields, it's my home. And if I'm not farming sustainably here, I'm only hurting myself. Canoe paddling bleeds over. I mean, it bleeds into all aspects from the sense of family, the sense of unity, the symbolic representation that a canoe makes for a community. And right now I look at it as we're just kind of spinning and we're not really going anywhere until we do realize that there are some common goals. You're not gonna get anything accomplished if you're not all working together and you're not all pulling that paddle at the same time. The canoe's not gonna go. You know, I wish with Kauai, with this issue of biotechnology, that we could realize that when you're in such a small community, you are in the same canoe.